In this video, we provide the solution to question number 12 for practice exam number one for Math 1050. We are given a one-to-one -one function f uh, that we see illustrated below, and we are asked to sketch the inverse uh, graph. That is, what's the graph of f inverse right here? Now, there's not a lot of work to be shown here, but just remember the basic principle. To calculate the inverse of a one-to-one -one graph, we have to reflect said graph across the diagonal line y equals x. So y equals x is this line is the perfect uh, 45 degree angle. It goes through 1, 1, uh, 2, 2, 3, 3, 4, 4, etc. Uh, so we want to reflect across that point. Now we can use points on the graph to help us out here. Like let's take this y-intercept here. This is the point 0, comma, negative 3. So when you take the inverse function, you're going to reflect it. That, that causes you to switch the x and y coordinates. So 0, negative 3 becomes negative 3, 0. So I would, I would start with that point to help us out here. Um, also, whenever the function crosses the diagonal line, that means the x and y coordinates are actually the same. And that's where the function will intersect its inverse. And so when you look at this graph f, it kind of looks like half of a parabola. So the inverse will look kind of like a square root function. And using these two points, I'm going to do my best to draw this thing. It doesn't have to be picture perfect. The idea that I really want to see from a student is that the inverse function is the reflection across the line y equals x. Um, if it looks remotely like that, you most likely would get full points on this. But do pay attention to coordinates. If your coordinates are completely wrong, uh, then a demerit could, of course, result from that.